Testing, testing, one, two, un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Hi, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality, as well as everything about the metaverse. Today, very exciting video, as we're going to talk about hubris, which is a moi, moi, moi VR experience. Absolutely incredible. We're going to do some side-by-side -side comparison with different graphic settings to get the best optimum VR settings, as well as, of course, gameplay to show you what it's like. Oh, man, it's just... Absolutely amazing. But first, do remember you can go to the link description below to enter to win a brand new HP Reverb D2 as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber carpet, the cyber chair, everything that goes with it. And the third owner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any Oculus MetaQuest store via apps or Viveport or Steam store, also, it doesn't matter how you spend the money, it'd be completely up to you. And of course, HP and Cyber Shoes will be sponsoring their own things, so they will be the ones who send it, not us. All right, guys, and also, of course, do remember to be part of the notification squad. Hit that notification bell after you subscribe, as potentially you could be notified as one of the winners, or, of course, because we upload awesome content all the time here on the channel. And thank you again for your love and support as we just reached the 10,000 subscribers. Whew, absolutely amazing. All right, guys, time to jump into VR. We're going to use the HP Reverb G2, of course, but you can use any VR headset, as I mentioned, for hubris in Steam VR on PC VR. All right, guys, let's jump into VR. All right, so we're inside of Steam VR home now. The first thing I always like to do when I start a game is just check my graphics, especially when I've never tried it for before. It will be the first time, so I go to the video settings. Um, the first thing I want to do is go to Hubris and then I just want to make sure that um, the resolution, although it says 100% at the moment, I want to bring it as close as possible to my lenses and then later I will incrementally increase it, of course, you know, if everything is absolutely fine, but I just don't want any issues when I start it off for the first time. The other thing is I want to make sure that my motion vector or reprojection is disabled because we don't need this. Uh, inside of these kind of games, normally speaking. So always start with disabled and then later if you really have jagged things or latency or, or issues, then do try with motion vector. Of course, there's a whole heap of other settings you need to do inside of the computer, including your own graphics card things to optimize all your graphics. So for PC, everyone who has a different machine, of course, are going to have a different experience. But do go and check out other videos that we've posted to the channel uh, that detail a little bit more as to what kind of things you need to do to uh, to increase those frames per second. All right, I'm very excited to check out Hubris because it is supposed to be, you know, one of those experiences which is going to transform VR. So a lot of expectations on this one. Here we go, it's loading. For some reason it loaded my home mixed reality. First, before jumping here, oh wow, okay, what's going on? Big logo flashing here. Hubris. And guys, do remember that we're doing the giveaway of the HP Reverb G2. Do go to the link in the description below for the details. All right, I have a black screen. Oh, all right. Startup graphic settings. Now, because I have my camera running recording me, as well as, of course, OBS and a whole heap of different softwares. I'm going to put the performance settings on medium to start off with. And then later, I will increment it as we go along. Uh, however, for... Oh, okay. So medium. It will change here. Your selected graphics settings is medium. So it doesn't highlight, just in case you're wondering. And then let's go to continue. So general. Okay. It's asking me more stuff for the settings. So, main hand will be standard. We don't want any vignetting. Um, vignettes while turning, no, we don't want any of this. Vignette size, no, we don't want any. Uh, so, I'm just going to put zero, maybe, just in case. Just in case. Uh, climbing highlights, I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to test out a little bit later. For movement, head-based, controller-based. So, we're going to keep head-based. Sprint with trigger, okay. Turning style, we're going to be using smooth turn. Actually, I prefer snap. It's much better. And 25 degrees is absolutely acceptable. And let's continue. All right. This is a quick calibration procedure to optimize your plane experience. All right. Press trigger to continue. While looking straight forward, let your arms 
hang in a relaxed position next to your body and then press the trigger to continue okay please extend your arms sideways and keep them stretched at your shoulders height okay press trigger calibration done all right Ooh, all right we're inside congratulations recruit in finishing your basic training before you leave to the twin planet system i'm going to help you get used to this triple oak tactical suit which has the ability to adapt to most environments you will encounter. Let's get started. A soldier needs to be able to move with agility. The suit will boost your speed and strength. Use your left joystick to move forward. Use your right joystick to turn. All right, so we're inside of the spaceship at the moment. Now, by the way, do make sure you watch until the end of the video as I'm also gonna test out the app without all my recording equipment because any kind of little jittery things that you see right now, please take it with a pinch of salt because I am running my camera as well as OBS and a couple of other softwares in order to be able to do these recordings, including recording with the camera of the Windows Mixed Reality. So the first thing is when you press the, you cannot recenter your view. So if you press the steam button, this is basically what you will see. Uh, you will see the main menu that basically comes up again where you can do all your things. And we're going to do unable seated mode, by the way, uh, because we are seated at the moment. And we also have some dev options and then calibrate. So let's just recalibrate just very quickly. So, okay. Press trigger to continue. Okay. Okay. Press trigger to continue. Okay. 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 Calibration done. All right, cool. So let's uh, go back. So now we're seated. So as you can see, I'm higher to the ground and I can see my controllers here. So I guess this is because they're going to take me through a little tutorial at the moment, but the graphics are very, very nice. The textures are very well made. The lighting is very well done. I'm just having some little twitches because I think I'm running a lot of different softwares at the same time. But as you can see, I'm walking here and we're inside of the spaceship, which is pretty cool. I love the neon effects and all those kind of things. I mean, the textures are very, very well done, to be honest with you. There's quite a lot of detail on the actual textures which gives it that kind of hyper-realistic kind of look and feel. So really excited to be trying this app today. If I press the trigger, I'm actually get to run. Sometimes you will need that extra speed boost to reach certain places. Try reaching the door before it closes. You can sprint by pressing the left joystick. Well done, you have made it on time. Now go stand on the red tile. Now press A to jump. Jump Good. in place to disable the force field. All right, so I have to be on the red tile, which is here, and press A to jump. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the A button longer. Ah, okay. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by... Try so jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the A button longer. These gaps are bigger, so try jumping while sprinting. Not all heights are reachable by simply jumping onto them. Climbing will be just as important. By using the side button, you can grab ledges and climb. You can climb on top by moving one or both controllers down in a push motion while pressing the grab button. Cool. You can also grab ledges while jumping towards them. I have to say, I really love the atmosphere. However, what I do need to do because I'm running all these different things is go back to the graphic settings. Okay, so we're back inside of Steam VR. So what I'm going to do because I have so many things running, as I just mentioned, I'm just going to go to Hubris and Hubris Playtest. There we go. And then we're just going to bring it down a little bit more, maybe to 50% this time because I am having some issues with the actual lagging and some jittery things going on. There we go, 50%, that sounds good. And then let's launch Hubris once more. All right, so we're back inside of Hubris now. The graphics are much smoother. The gameplay, sorry, is much smoother because we brought down the resolution. So this makes a lot of difference already. And they're still very good. I mean, it still feels very sharp, 
just need to adjust my IPD a little bit. But at the end of the day, yeah, no, it looks still very good, very sharp, and uh, very playable, even though we brought it down to 50%. So when we start again, we just have to click on this, and then click on slot one. There we go. And then, are you sure? Yes. I have to say that the graphics in this game currently are really beautifully made. Swimming is straightforward. You move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands, jump in the water, and make swimming movements. So yeah, the graphics are really beautiful. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of Alien Isolation, where you're thrown into this sci-fi environment, like a bit of a thriller, suspense kind of feeling. I'm definitely feeling it, although of course the graphics are much better than Alien Isolation uh, in terms of the VR mod that is available. But yeah, I mean, this looks amazing. I can see the little, the watermarks on the floor there with all the scratches. A lot of detail has definitely gone into this. Swimming is straightforward. Into this game. You move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands, jump in the water, and make swimming movements. Wow, it's amazing that you can. I really feel like I'm swimming. Like it's crazy. Oh my god! And look at the detail on the surface there. Oh, it's really amazing. I love the sound effects as well of the water. Let me see if I can swim like a puppy. No, I can't. But yeah, I can. It really responds well. Like if I go backwards, I'm swimming backwards. And now I'm swimming in front, forwards. It's really, swimming is straightforward. really you crazy. You move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands. Jump in the water and make swimming move. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Wow. Wow, it's really, really well done. That was a really fun experience. And look at these little particles floating around. Very much like Alien Isolation, I have your to admit. Your is equipped with a hollow backpack. It can transform matter into data and materialize it again when you grab it back. Please pick up these items by using the side buttons, then drop them behind one of your shoulders and put them in your backpack. And by the way, I didn't have to do any controller binding whatsoever or change the bindings of the controllers. And as you can see, it automatically detects my HP Reverb G2 controllers. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. So we just use the grab button. And then we put them behind. You can take the last object added to your backpack by grabbing it over your shoulder. Take a look at the top of your left wrist. You can see a big triple O logo on there. If you press that button, you can open your inventory. You can now simply select the item directly from your interface. Now put a battery in the red slot to disable ah, the force field. Cool. And also, I can just point towards it, it's highlighted, then click the grab button. And if I'm close enough, it will go towards it. I mean, look at the shadows. Wow, these shadows are amazing. I have to say that this is probably, for me, the second best experience. I wouldn't say it's the best or the second best. I'm just saying that in terms of uh, when it's in, in the his history of your games that have come out, Half-Life Alex was really the game that defined the standards of virtual reality, but now I think Hubris are the ones that are defining virtual reality experiences because this these graphics are insane, guys. They're absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I love... Oh, wow. So now, guys, we're running with super sampling at 100% on Steam, and also the graphics are much more smooth. Take a look at the top of your left wrist. All right, there we go. So it Not quite there. Keep trying. You can do better. Far more experienced and trained soldiers. Please take your place in your sleeping pod. Make yourself comfortable, because it will be a long trip. Alright, let's do this. We're inside the pod, guys. It'd be very interesting to play this game with the cyber shoes, actually. Uh, 
All right. Wow. Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this triple O ship. Before I unlock your sleeping cabin, I'm going to give you a short update. We have just left light speed to enter the twin planet system, still several hours away from your drop-off point. Ooh. The intergalactic harbor on the pillar planet, where you, let me check your data, will continue your training to become an agent of the order of objects. Underwater, guys. Oh, recruit, you're still alive. Follow me. I can use some help. Oh, wow. The graphics are insane. Oh, I love this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Of course, we need to get these guys. You see those batteries over there? Take one and put it in your backpack. I guess the batteries were the blue things. I already did. I have three of them. Good. Now follow me outside. Oh, the graphics are insane, guys. PC VR, guys, is definitely, definitely gives the opportunity of amazing immersion in VR. It's just really crazy. So again, here's some side-by-side -side comparison graphics with the super sampling at 100% and also everything pretty much set to maximum inside of the actual app compared to the previous footage where we were at 50% super sampling and we had everything down inside of the app so it just goes to show the level of difference in graphics because this is really really amazing Absolutely amazing. If you want to save the game, all you have to do is bring back your menu, go to Dev Options, and then click on Save Game. And normally it will save from here so that's what we had to do earlier but i'm glad i redid it so i could show you some side by side footage all right let's get this guy. look at this crazy look at how big it is Oh, look at this thing! Oh man, what is this? Wow, what is this? Whoo, these textures are just incredible! Wow, how interesting, guys! This is next level stuff, guys. Next level stuff. Oh, you can see the ship over there. I love the sound effects, they're very, very cool. Let's go and grab the squid just in case we need it. Oh, look, 
We could have jumped from there too. What's this? Another crystal. We might need that. So there are some little hidden gems inside. Okay, there's nothing else. And it's so murky. I love how the the water changes texture. It gives a different feeling inside of the water. So I just want to show you this effect. Look, it's like having a water mask on. I mean, this is next level stuff, guys. I have not seen water like this in VR. We can go underwater, above water, and in between, you see the water, the, the, the refractions and reflections all twisted up together. It's like having a real scuba diving mask on, guys. This is next level stuff. I mean, wow, when you talk about virtual reality immersion, this is closest to real life that I have ever experienced ever before in VR when it comes to an underwater experience in virtual reality. It's just absolutely amazing. I mean, I've been scuba diving. I've gone down to 25 meters before and I'm telling you, it feels like this. This is incredible. So guys, as you can see, Hubris is really, really amazing. The amount of immersion that you get out of this app is just incredible. The graphics, whew, they're literally like, if you were to compare it to Half-Life Alex, they are definitely up there. They're definitely setting the standards for hyper-realism and using materials and the way they paint all those materials and textures. It's just absolutely amazing. The immersion, the feeling, everything inside. I've never felt so much underwater in my life other than when I started to use Hubris. So I definitely, definitely recommend that you guys go and check it out. More details in the link below about this app as to where you can get it and some other information. It's just absolutely amazing, guys. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the comments below. Let me know your comments about this app. Are you excited about this app? I'd love to know what you think about this video and what you've seen so far. All right, guys. Otherwise, do remember to enter to win the brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as the pair of cyber shoes in the gaming station, and also a third one potentially could also walk away with a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any VR experience on any store that you want. Be completely up to you how to spend that money. So after you enable the bell, after you subscribe, Subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you in another video tomorrow or of course very soon although tomorrow we're going to be uploading the unboxing of the G923 by Logitech. Alright guys take it easy I'll see you soon bye.